believe that art has uh, a strong power for emotional uh, relief. So this is one, uh, one aspect. Then there is also the possibility to, through uh, artistic expression, to protest and um, engage the, a wider public, a wider audience. We have seen how important it is that uh, culture, culture as a tool. First of all, uh, I would like, uh, and arts and letters, I would like to um, clarify that by culture, we tend to use it in a very wide notion and a wider interpretation. So in that respect, we will include cultural heritage in it. So in that respect, this is an area where you will find a lot of communalities between uh, the communities, the hosting community as well as the, the external community, or a place where those communities can actually uh, mingle and discuss uh, and see the, uh, the differences and the similarities and the origins of different things. In that respect, I just want to mention one of the examples, um, is one of the activities that uh, it was introduced by one of the NGOs that we work with, is that the refugees are cooking for the local communities. This was very interesting because not only the refugees became the hosts of an activity, but through, the, the, through the, uh, an activity which is very pleasant and very time-consuming in a positive sense, we, they, were be, they were able to explain the origins, the ingredients, um, and um, the traditions that exist around it. And therefore, the hosts in that case, which are the host, the society, the, uh, the communities that are of the host country, would 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 learn more, but also they would see the uh, similarities and differences with their own. This country is very rich in uh, in art, and there are a lot of institutions, university, are interested in art. And when you provide uh, uh, this way of communication because Syria is a very rich country talking about, about art and uh, heritage. And we can uh, always depend on our heritage and our uh, uh, artistic uh, taste in Syria to, to promote our uh, Syrian uh, causes to the wider uh, community. Uh, as a organization we have been successful of reaching uh, British uh, community through many art festivals and many art uh, activities. Art in itself is a voice and we know that refugee communities they don't have a voice they are kind of a voiceless community so art become their, their voice through art they can express themselves they can be heard then arts in itself, it's, it's a platform. Through arts, for once, they can have space and audience to talk to, to share with whatever they have to share. And through arts, bridges are built between people and communities. Whenever there is a festival, sometimes it doesn't matter if it's an African festival, an Asian or an a, 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 European festival, every people just will come. So one of the things that the musicians tell us is one particular musician, Serge Taboo, who will always talk about how his music has been his way of making a place for himself in this country. Um, so the arts can help people integrate into society and giving the opportunity to the platforms can help people create new social networks and families people who are coming without, creating new communities of people that are doing things together, working together, having a nice time, sharing ideas, yeah. contributing. Um, the arts can also, that's very important, you know, gives an a platform for people to contribute, give back. People talk about that a lot. Artists are in a better position to talk about these things because they are not personally involved, they don't have to make policy, they can uh, make people think. Um, and that's the role of the artist, is to um, make people reflect, I think. That's the most important thing. Policy makers, they don't make people reflect, they just have to do it. Art is an international language, so everybody can understand art. 
And uh, we've seen that sometimes a picture of the Syrian child on the Turkish uh, uh, page was more effective than a lot of other uh, uh, politics and uh, United Nations uh, meetings. Only a simple picture taken by a photographer was enough to, to let all the West move to take actions toward the Syrian conflicts. So uh, by having this inter international language uh, communicated between the Syrian community and the uh, UK uh, communities, we can reach them in, in different uh, communication ways. So as an organization we've done uh, many art uh, festivals, some of them in theatres, in uh, music, uh, in calligraphy, in painting, sculpturing. Just art or traditions or culture, if we could use these tools, it's a way to bring people together and to connect people and to reduce this huge uh, gap or stereotype gap basically the gaps that are a result of the stereotypes of the people. So it's totally a way to bring people together. And it's so simple as that. So human and everyday human needs. Music, dance, theater, uh, fine arts, whatever. So to bring people together. Art is so important. It is maybe more important than expressing verbally what is going on. Um, it can be a way of sharing all the what, is, what cannot be really said? And it is so important because it is, there is a magical way there to, to, to share and to bring people together without really knowing how this is working. So from our experience here, we are doing, uh, we're doing some projects that have to do with art and culture and share of, of the culture of the asylum seekers and refugees uh, with the local community and with the uh, European volunteers here uh, in ESIS. And we are, um, we are making these cultural nights with the cuisine, the, tape, the boarding games that they may play, uh, some dances they may dance. There, the, the asylum seekers themselves are proposing that they would love to do Iranian night, let's say, to share their own uh, perspective, they, uh, how they used to, to live. Uh, and this is so important. And there just magically emerges the initiative and the motivation from the people that is really lost. It is very important for refugees and immigrants to, to find something to do during the day because they don't uh, have a job to go and work and some of them do not have their own family here. And we try to, to make them uh, feel that they are productive and creative. It's a tool that uh, everyone can use uh, despite their background. Um, I think through art, uh, uh, people feel more free or safe to express their feeling. And uh, it's a tool or a basic basis for uh, deeper uh, psychosocial discussion. There are a lot of Syrian refugees uh, having a lot of hobbies in art and, and, and music uh, and the theater. And uh, uh, there are a lot of Lebanese for, for sure that they have the same hobby. Uh, we can have a lot of uh, joint activities or getting more, uh, getting something uh, complementary to our uh, hobbies or, uh, or uh, uh, arts uh, activities that we have in Lebanon because several initiatives showed that there are, for example, in theater, that there are Syrian uh, comedians uh, in Lebanon, Syrian refugees comedians and the Lebanese comedians, they did something together where it was uh, very successful. Art is a, is a powerful tool. Because somehow, somehow, when it, when it comes to art, we forget, we forget our differences. Because everybody shares that one thing. We all have that common interest, passion about art. So it's a good tool 
which is used to, to create that safe environment, that rela relax, uh, relaxed uh, place where people can... Because after you've listened together to a beautiful song, then you just realize, actually, she is, is just a human being like myself. Actually, what about, what about asking him, what is, what, what is it actually, this immigration, asylum seekers, refugees? Then it's an opportunity for people to come together, to start a positive conversations. Then we learn to appreciate each other. Then we learn to understand. Then we learn to, to have empathy. So that's how we, we, we're finding arts is helping in this situation of bad economics, politics, um, social relationship and everything else. Presently, we're working with local communities to set up this community cohesion choir. Uh, the idea is just to, with what's going on particularly since after the, the vote for Brexit, we know what happened, how tensions are high, communities are divided, and um, there is a, a rise uh, in numbers of incidents towards particularly um, people of color, uh, refugees, asylum seekers. And then we, we, we thought if people, if things continue like this, uh, definite, basically there is a threat to peaceful cohabit um, cohabitation. So we thought maybe we should, it's time to do activities which will protect cohesion in the community which will will promote friendship just to prevent even worse so that was the, the the initial idea so we're recruiting people from different communities who are interested in singing then together it's just we either we write together our own songs or we just rearrange existing songs based on who we are and what we've got. So that's what we're doing at the moment. They also can create an opportunity to bring together lots of new dynamic new partnerships of organisations, groups, um, cross-cultural, um, from mainstream, independent. Um, so you can bring together really eclectic and interesting groups of people. Um, I think, you know, in, in, in an ideal world and at its best, the role the arts can play in interacting with refugees and, our, and communities from Britain is to about, about creating new things happening in society, new ideas, new um, organisations. When we first started working with young people, groups, refugee communities, um, after a while they were saying to us, um, actually, we want to work with, you know, other people from other communities. So listening to that, that has really formed the basis of most of our young people's work, which actually are based on bringing together young people from all communities where they're living. Um, so our Manchester programme, probably about a third of that intake of the group, our Manchester Youth Arts work is with refugees. The other third are other diverse communities and the other third are white British communities. To do a crude division, um, and that interaction is really what keeps the young people there, working with home, partnership with home in Manchester, um, a production that the young people have, done, uh, have recently done. Um, them all talking about how in this group I can be myself, how in this group I learn about other people and how important that is. In this group it's all right to be different. In this group that this is valued. And when I say the group I mean the young people, not just not just that we've created that, they've created that themselves. Mm. Uh, the Congolese project is a great, a great yeah. example. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So a heritage project for the Congolese community to be able to share some of the reasons why they, they came to Manchester and share something of their heritage. Um, we were envisaging it was going to be mainly for the Congolese community, but um, to our surprise, a whole raft of Iranians <laughs> Kurds, other people came on board saying, well, we want to be part of this too. Art and forms of art uh, are mostly working, uh, not even working, they're even, um, they're even necessary uh, in the intercultural dialogue and anyway in, in societal crisis, I think. Uh, ways of, of sharing uh, cultural uh, uh, experiences, cultural traditions, art, 
art is included in that. The really funny thing is that when we make uh, one uh, event here about intercultural cuisine, uh, and uh, the, the volunteers uh, uh, make and cook different uh, different uh, dishes from their countries. It was amazing that how the people, the Greek ones, found so, so much similarities. For me, I would say, because I'm a fan of it, I am always saying about the kitchen, about the cuisine, the local things that the people come. So we are always find some uh, common dishes or, okay, I do this with that way ah you do it with that way so uh, also these kind of things similar I mean the, the really really simple things make these changes and uh, the people come together we are having this cultural night and every Thursday let's say is a cultural night uh, Spanish one German one there is the Iranian one so we're open to suggestions from the people the asylum seekers that are living in the units of ESS let's say to propose to us and to organize themselves the, their cultural night where they can share all the uh, all their traditions whatever they want to with the Greeks and with the Spanish and with the Germans so the interculturality is the the key element in that there is for example a European project that has to do with uh, including um, all the young potential immigrants because we young people in Europe nowadays we're at risk all of us for immigration. So the project has, works with art uh, in order to create a network between young potential immigrants. This project aims in working with art, percussions, music, uh, photography, dance, to bringing all these young people together and to create a virtual network that they can really keep in the long term. Through art, they find uh, an easy way to express themselves and uh, sometimes to communicate uh, with um, our volunteers and employees, but uh, even uh, with uh, the, the, the local community, as I told you, uh, we organized uh, an exhibition with their photographs, where, uh, th where, which was very, uh, a very good chance for them to interact with the visitors and to tell us uh, about their own stories. We had uh, many visitors uh, from the local community and who, who had uh, maybe for the first time to, the chance to, to learn uh, more for uh, refugees through their photographs, but they also have a place to discuss with them. And it was, I think it was a good beginning. This year we organized um, an activity, we called it Euphoria. And it was a short film created by young people coming from Roma community, coming from local community and from refugees. They all uh, worked together in order to create a short film. Uh, then uh, they did a seminar and workshop um, on um, particular uh, photo shooting techniques and they also work together. And um, uh, the latest project that has to do with art is that uh, we are going to participate um, to, to submit a movie, a small movie with uh, stories from refugees from uh, 16 to 26 years old. Um, and we will submit it for a call of uh, the public, uh, the Greek public television. This will be in uh, 2018, but uh, we have already worked on it. There were several theaters in Lebanon, uh, Lebanese Syrian, uh, where uh, it was uh, interactive about their uh, cultures uh, in their own country and in Lebanon. Uh, which was very successful, as I mentioned before. Uh, and there are, uh, for example, now there are uh, several initiatives for break dancers and graffiti, uh, where there are the Syrian letter and the graffiti. Uh, there are several uh, youth that they know about the, the traditional uh, letters. So they are doing something uh, together where, where it is uh, good to promote social dialogue. the 
Greece, uh, inter international language uh, communicated between the Syrian community and the uh, uh, UK uh, communities, we can reach them in, in different uh, communication ways. So as an organization, we've done uh, many art uh, festivals, some of them in theaters, in uh, music, uh, in calligraphy, in painting, sculpturing. So this country is very rich in, uh, in art, and there are a lot of institutions, university, are interested in art. And when you provide uh, uh, this way of communication, because Syria is a very rich country, talking about, about art and uh, heritage, depending on our heritage and our uh, uh, artistic uh, taste in Syria, to, to promote our uh, Syrian uh, causes to the wider uh, community. It's totally a way to bring people together, and it's so simple as that. So human and everyday human needs, music, dance, theater, uh, fine arts, whatever. Art can be used as a tool <laughs> um, to challenge um, the negative perception maybe of the people, for example, in Greece. Um, I would just love to give an example. Um, the image of a, of a woman refugee uh, with a hijab uh, is kind of, it's very strange. Uh, so, so uh, art projects like uh, painting or uh, theater or uh, even even handcrafts, uh, photography uh, brings people and challenges their perception of what is that. And there is beauty in that. There is very much beauty in that. So it just helps people to. Uh, to uh, evaluate again and challenge uh, what they were thinking before, how the meaning of that. It's not, uh, it's not necessarily hiding their face. It may be so much. It has a value there. So it it is helping reevaluate the the how to say uh, the system, the belief system of the people, and it's so important. And art can use that, can do that uh, as a tool, with no um, complex uh, words or really eclectic ones. Or it is very direct, direct in doing that. Mm -hmm.